creating a hero. I quieten down and step out of the maze of stressful thinking and doing. I begin to tap into my innate spiritual roots, roots that are sometimes used but also very often forgotten because the dragons of doubt of anger of worry eclipse them I decide to become stronger I decide to direct my life as I wish I decide to choose a better way to live I realize that I can conquer the dragon of fear who seems to wait in so many corners of my life. I use the weapon of wisdom, the weapon of determination. I become confident assertive no matter what no matter who comes as an obstacle I will not be submissive or intimidated by anything or anyone fearful angry or pessimistic I understand I have the power of both self-respect and peace to deal with any situation, any person. In my awareness, I remember always my original roots, my original powers. I remember that I am a hero actor within this play of life. According to time and destiny, I have the right to be here and to express what I am. No need to fear the lack of approval of others. No need to fear rejection or criticism. Let me understand and simply have the courage to do. And through the doing, through the action, I learn what I need to learn. I achieve what I have to achieve. I realize that until I act, until I do, I cannot learn, I cannot find well-being, I cannot find fulfillment, I cannot have victory over the obstacles. With deep faith and determined thought, I firmly do what I have to do. I courageously say what I have to say. Gradually, I realize that my greatest weapons to conquer any dragon, whether doubt or fear 
or passivity, a peace, trust, and especially the power of decision. I need to be clear with myself what I really want from my life. And then next, I choose and decide the course of appropriate action, giving permission to myself to make mistakes, but being willing to learn at every step. I, the hero of this moment, I do not lose my balance through getting entangled in wasteful talk or hopeless thinking. I do not lose my self-respect by getting influenced by the negative vision or words of others towards me. I do not lose my aim just because others do not believe in it, ridicule it. Let me do what I have to do and grow through both success and failure, praise and defamation. Out of fear, I must not become rigid let me remain flexible, tolerant, and open. Out of anger, let me not become hard and stubborn, but keep peaceful and respectful to all. Out of selfish ambition, let me not become calculating and ruthless, but maintain a respect for the rights of others. Out of insecurity, let me not be lost in comparisons and competitiveness, but value the uniqueness of each one and of the self. These heroic gestures in each moment of each day conquer all the dragons. No crisis is so huge. Nothing is that bad that I, the hero, cannot face and transform. I can. I can transform it. Always I can, because from my spiritual roots, my soul self, I will always find the resources to meet the needs and challenges of living. I can, I always can, connect to the divine source, to the divine friendship, I can take that power, I can take that blessing, which makes my task easier and more successful. That divine friend that believes that I can be that hero, the hero that creates the well-being not only of the self, but of others.